Today, I'm going to teach you how to capture Milky Way using a smartphone. I'm using a Redmi Note 7 Pro which I bought 2 years ago. One of the requirements for a smartphone to capture Milky Way is to have a Pro or Manual Mode which I will show you later. It's also better to check where the galactic core is located based on the current time. And of course, check if there are clouds that will block the view. I'm using this app called Starwalk 2 to locate the position of galactic core. It's easy to use and will give an accurate position of the stars in the sky. Click the compass icon in the upper left to give you a real-time view. Then move your phone to locate the Milky Way. This will be the image on the app. You should also take note that you should have a tripod or anything that can make your phone stand on its own to avoid distorting the image. This is the camera of my phone, and as you can see, there are different modes. I will choose the Pro mode to adjust different settings. For beginners, there are three things we need to adjust. First is ISO. You'll find a lot of descriptions of ISO over the internet, but for simplicity, I'll choose 3200. Higher ISO can give you a brighter image, but with much more noise. Next is focus. Basically, we need to adjust this to avoid blurred image. Several tutorials will tell you to choose infinity mode. Here in my phone, it will show you a mountain icon. As far as I know, infinity focus for other phones have an infinity icon. Last one is the shutter speed. It is basically the time your camera will gather the lights. There is actually a computation to choose the best shutter speed. But since this is a smartphone with limited capabilities, I'll select 16 seconds. Let's take a picture and see the results. We can see a glimpse of Milky Way here. We can try enhancing them later. Let's try a shutter speed of 32 seconds next and compare the results. As you can see, 32 seconds shutter speed looks brighter than the other one. The problem here is that higher shutter speed images will show star trails due to the movement of the earth. It's negligible with small images, but it is visible when you try to enlarge it. Next part of the video will show basic enhancements using Snapseed and Lightroom to make the galactic core visible. Try to follow them step by step. Thank you for watching.